Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we again create another JavaScript project called as a Guess the Word Game. Now with this project, we can learn many JavaScript concepts like loops and Apple statement and we also learn about Tom manipulation. Okay, so now in this project, we have uh, given a one simple word, okay, with some missing characters and we have to find those missing characters. Uh, and initially we also given lives equal to six if i enter right character then lives is uh is still uh six and we have entered the, that character uh inside our word so it will uh, display on browser and if i make the character wrong then our lives is reduced by one okay if i enter one character like z now the case uh, the z is not present in original character so uh, we got the message it's a wrong guess and our lives is reduced by one if i make a wrong guess multiple times so when lives equal to zero we can see uh, show the uh, see the message it's a game over and we can see the original word that was elephant and we can also see the button next word now if i click on this we can get a new word and if i make the right guess okay like we we get got the message it's a right guess and we have l uh, e okay and we have z okay so the original word was the puzzle and when we get all the characters right we got the message you own and we can see the button next word okay like this okay so i have understand what we going to build so let's move on to vs code editor and let's start building this project Okay, so now in the VS Code editor, I already created one folder, guess the word, and inside this folder, I already created three different files: .app.js, uh, index.html, and style.css. And inside the index.html, I already created the template for our HTML file, okay, or the base code or default code that we uh, required for uh, every time when we create HTML file, okay. Uh, nothing much uh, of that uh, like we have um, and inside this uh, we already i already link uh, css file and dot js file and also import the font from the google font okay pop, called as poppins font you can uh, also import this from the google font website or, or you can choose any font uh, you like okay and inside the app.js file i already defined some words it's a random word you can uh, just copy paste this or you can use uh, your own words okay and our style.css is initially empty so let's move on to index html and let's start building this project okay so now inside the body tag i will create uh, one simple container using div i will add one class called container okay and inside this div initially we have one header called guess the word like this okay now we have a header and then we have lives container and then we have our uh, the word and then we have one form okay so we'll design like that so i will create one div i will add clause lives container or lives box you can call anything and we have lives i will add one span here and i'll give the lives initially six i will add class called lives count okay i, I added the class here or uh, because we have to change this value from the javascript when user uh, make the wrong guess okay and below this div we have our word so i'll uh, use another div for word container Like this and inside this div for now i'll make for now i'll make uh, i'll use one random word here okay because we also generate this word from the javascript and but for the styling purpose but before we uh, we also style this page before we writing the javascript so we can uh, have a random word so we can easily style this page okay First of all let's open this file to our browser i'll open with the live server okay now we have our 
project or the HTML file on a browser. Okay, we have header, live container, and word. And below this, we required one form. Okay, and we have input type text. I'll add class called guess input like this. And below this, we required one button. And I will add class called check button will check the values or the character in our original word okay i'll call as check this and now we have our form and button and below this form we have one span to display our messages so i'll call as message box and also i have dummy text like right guess and below this we also put again one button i'll call as class called next word okay so uh, we got our html elements now we'll go to the css file and let's start designing this uh, container okay so first of all let's select all the elements of the html element html page using universal selector and we'll make the margin and padding to zero we have padding zero and i'll make the box sizing border box and below this we'll select the body element first of all i'll make the height to be 100 vh okay which will give the height of the body tag to be equal to height of the screen and below this i'll also change the font to the font that we imported which is poppins font okay so i'll call poppins and also add one fallback form font called as sans serif and also so we have to first center these uh, elements uh, to the center of the body so we'll use display flex okay? and i'll use justify content center like this so we have all the content inside the body tag to be center horizontally okay and now we'll select our container and i'll add a background color it's a random color we actually remove this color but uh, we uh, will get the idea about uh, what we designing or what our container looks like so i added uh, one random color okay and below first of all we'll change the width to be 500 pixel got more width of the page and below this i'll also make this uh, make the content inside the container to be horizontally center so we'll make the container to be display flex okay like this so we have all the elements on a one line or one row so first of all we have to uh, change the direction of these uh, elements to be column so we'll use flex direction to be column like this so we have again our elements align to be aligned in a column and i will use align items to be center so this will make the align horizontally center okay and also add padding to be 50 pixel from all the side so we can uh, we get some space okay, inside this container okay so this much for the container now we'll uh, remove this background color now we'll select our header which is s2 and i'll add font size to be 30 pixel much more and also add margin from top and bottom or vertical to be 10 pixel and horizontal 0 pixel and then we'll select our live container like this and we'll change the font size to be 18 pixel to so change the font weight to be 500 and also change color to hash 555 and okay and 
we also select our lives count and make the font weight to be old not font family it's font weight so it will more uh, which will and uh, the number will look more thicker okay now we'll select our word container word in our first of all i'll change the font size to be 25 pixel spell spelling mistake okay and i will change the font weight to be 500 and also add a margin to be 10 pixel from top and bottom and zero from left and right let's add more 20 pixel. and we also change its color the same as our live container which is hash 555 like this okay and below this let's select our uh, input form and i'll make it to display flex and then we'll select our input is case input first of all i'll change its width to 60 or 70 percent okay. and we'll add padding to be 8 pixel from all the side and we also add one border pixel solid hash 444 and change the border radius from left side top and bottom to 5 pixel border top left radius to 5 pixel and top to 5 pixel like this okay and we also remove the outline in none okay so we design our input now let's change the style for our check button the check so add padding 8 pixel and also change the width to 40 percent change border same as our html uh, input box we'll just copy and paste it okay and instead of left side we'll change the border radius from the right side okay and i will remove the border uh, of the left side from the button because we have border of the right side of the input box so it will look more thicker so i'll uh, remove the border left of the button to be done okay so from all the side it will look equal and now we'll change the background color of the button to fire brick you can give any color i just use random color here and then we have hash ff and finally i'll use use cursor pointer so the button look clickable when we hover the mouse over the button okay and now we'll select our message box or the span that you want to display the message okay i'll add color the same as a fire brick this and change the font size to 18 pixel you can reduce or let's reduce it to 14 pixel okay and add a margin top and bottom to 10 pixel now we'll select our uh, button is next word so add bit to 20 percent change its background color to fire break its color to white okay and we'll remove its border one pixel solid ash add padding to five pixel from top and bottom and 10 pixel horizontal and 
add some border radius 5 pixels. okay so now we design our form or design our html form so let's move on to our js code and let's add the functionality but before we'll just remove our message and make the button to be display none initially so i'll use display none and i will remove the dummy text or dummy words that we enter here we have empty message box initially and we also don't require this word in a word container okay. so now let's move on to app.js file and first of all we have to generate a word when user uh, come to this page okay so we'll create one simple function called init game okay and inside this function we'll generate one random word from this word list so first of all let's uh, generate one random index okay uh, if i use method called from the math package which is math.random this will generate one random number between 0 and 1 if i just simply log this and we just have to call this function need game now if i go to the inspect console now we have one random number if i refresh this page we got a random number every time okay now we have to generate a number and generate a random number between uh, zero and the word uh, this array length okay so we'll use multiply with words dot length okay so we'll got six uh, again we got nine seven zero two five okay but here the number is floating point value but we required one integer value so we use another method called math dot floor like this and i will just wrap the math dot random inside the math dot floor so we got uh, integer value every time okay and we just have to select the word from our words so we'll use word and then we have square brackets and our index okay then we got a random word every time we refresh the page elephant adventure okay like this now we'll uh, save this word in a variable we'll create a variable called selected word and we also required another variable called a displayed word okay because we have to remove some characters from it and display underscore inside inside it and we'll save it on a or displayed on a browser so we have uh, two variable okay and for inside the selected word we'll use words and square brackets and we have random index like this and now we have to just insert this character display this uh, make some characters to be underscore so we'll use for loop to traverse all the character inside the selected word and make some characters uh, the uh, some character underscore and we'll keep some character same as uh, inside the selected word okay so we'll use let i equal to zero i less than selected word dot len i plus plus okay and if i just uh, use displayed word plus equal to okay this is short and property for the equal to displayed word plus uh, selected word i okay like this so uh, we can reduce it to just plus and equal to like this now if i just console log displayed word okay so we got undefined and sunshine because the value is initially undefined so we'll have to make it to empty string like this we got elephant and puzzle so we have to make some random characters to be underscore so we'll use if statements and we again use um, math package called method random okay and if i will just simply check if the values is uh, generated below the point 0.4 
or 0 0.4 then we'll just simply concat underscore to it like this and else we just concat our original character from selected word okay so we got some random characters and uh, we also got the characters from our original word like this every time we refresh the page or if you want to uh, change the probability of the uh, concatenating underscore you can change this value like I, if i uh, change it to 0.4 then we have very less probability to generate uh, underscore inside the original word or if i uh, increase it to uh, when we uh, go to the near to one we increase its probability to increase the underscore in our word okay so we have multiple underscore in our word okay and for this project i will use 40 percent okay you can use any probability you want or you can uh, create a level based game where you can increase or decrease this uh, probability of generating underscore okay so now we generated our word uh, first of all let's uh, change our uh, character's word of the string to all lowercase okay so we'll use one method called to lowercase method okay so this will uh, convert all the characters to lowercase letters and we have to display it in a, our html container so we'll select our word container here we'll go to the here below this variable i will create a variable called word container document then we have query selector and then we have word container like this below this for loop we have word container dot inner html equal to displayed word like this so we got our word on our browser okay, if i refresh this we got new word every time we refresh the page okay so now we uh, use the functionality of creating a word so now let's uh, get the input from the user and check if the character is present in our original word or not so we'll uh, again have to get two selectors which is our input and our check button okay so now below this i will add event listener to our check button dot add event listener and we have one event called click we will add one function one arrow function and we'll check our value which is the guess which will store inside the guess input and we have value like this I'll simply log this value to the console now if i go to the developer option we have console now if i enter a go to the check okay uh, we have default beer of the page when we click on the button which will uh, refresh the page so first of all we have to uh, default prevent this so we'll use event and call a method on pre uh, event called prevent default like this now if i uh, enter one character and click on the button now we got a okay but here we got multiple uh, if i enter multiple characters we also got the multiple characters we have but we have to get only one character so first of all what we can do is uh, we can go to the input of the form and we'll use one attribute called max length in each, uh, which is equal to one so it will restrict the user to enter more than one character okay like if i enter uh, now multiple characters so it will restrict uh, me from entering the characters okay and we also have to check uh, remove the white space to be entered from our um, input box so we'll use trim method in a dot js file or here we have trim method okay 
like this so if i enter one space now the white space is removed and we also have to change the characters to lowercase letter because we already change our selected word to lowercase letter so if user enter in a uppercase letter this will con convert in a lowercase letter and we can check one condition if our guess uh, dot length is not equal to one then we can also alert to user to provide some character okay provide provide one character like this and just return from this function now if i just uh, uh make it the input i'll if i uh, keep the input box empty and click on the checkbox button now we got the error provide one character okay like this so uh, we got our input from the user so first uh, we have to compare it uh, check if the that character present in our character uh, in a original word or not okay so again we use for loop for that uh, so we have for let i equal to zero i less than selected word dot then okay now here we check the character is present in a selected word or not because in a displayed word we have some underscore we have to check inside our selected word for that we have created two different variables okay now inside this we'll just use if statement and then we have if guess is equal to selected word at ith index like this and if i just console log ith index and like this now if i go to the inspect console and if i enter c here now we got the one index because at the one index we have c character at the selected word and so that we have to change the displayed word at the ith index to be case like this so it will display on a, our screen but in javascript we cannot change the string at the ith index like that so we have to solve this problem okay like if i just use displayed i and if i just console log here displayed word if i enter one character like t and here we see we uh, the original displayed word string is not modified so we have to solve this problem we, we can solve it by two approaches first of all we can do that what we can do that we can change our string to an array so like we have displayed word then we have displayed word and we use split method on a string this will convert our string to an array okay like this if i just console log displayed word and go to the console now if i enter one character like e now we got our uh, string converted to array all the characters have its uh, index now we can change the character inside this like displayed word ith index now we have our guess like this and now uh, then we'll convert our string and finally we'll convert our uh, array again to a string using join method like this okay now if i go to the inspect so now if i enter character like n now we have added n at the end of the displayed word and finally we have to uh, change this or, or change the dom or modify the dom so again we use a method not method uh, we have word container dot inner html and we have displayed word like this so we added d now we added change our uh, or modify our dom okay so now uh, we added our characters functionality so let's check for the winner all the characters are right like here okay now we make all the characters right so we'll change the winner so we'll create a function for that i will create a function below this function 
चीक पिनर एंड नाउ हियर वी ओनली चेक नाउ फाइनली व्हेन ऑल द कैरेक्टर्स आर इक्वल आई पर जस्ट कंसोल लॉग बोथ स्ट्री बोथ द वेरिएबल्स लाइक वी हैव डिस्प्लेड वर्ड एंड वी हैव सिलेक्टेड वर्ड इफ आई गो टू द कंसोल first of all we have to call this uh, function so now here uh, below the for loop we'll call the function called check winner and now we have word now if i make all the characters to be right okay now we have our displayed word and our selected word okay so if i make uh, all the characters to be right okay now finally when we make all the characters right our displayed word variable and our selected word variable both the values are equal that means we uh, our user own the game okay so we can do uh, we can uh, what we can do we just check if selected word or displayed word are equal then we uh, just show the message to the user you own the game so we select our message box from html dom like this so we have message box now inside this if statement will change its inner content now inner html and it's use only you own like this if i just refresh the page and now we have only one character to guess that is s yes. so now we got the message you own okay and we have to display the button of the next word button this so we'll use so first of all we have to select this from the dom now next word now here inside the if statement i will make its style to be display block this now if i enter all the characters to write we got the u1 message and we have uh, di uh, display our button of the next word okay now here if i click on that button we do not get anything because we did not add any functionality for that we added uh, more uh, we add it later first of all let's add um, functionality for our lives uh, to reduce one uh, by decrement by one okay so let's select our lives count from our container or from the html dom we have lives count times okay and here i will can create one another variable that will store the user lives and initially inside the init game i'll make the lives to be 6 and also change the content inside the lives count container be equal to lives here okay. so now uh, inside uh, our event listener when we click on the check button we also reduce our lives when user enter wrong character so here we have to create one variable called found initially it will be false and inside the for loop or inside the if statement when user guess the character right i will change the found to be true and below the for loop if i will check if the found value is equal to false or not okay if the user uh, make the guess wrong 
this for uh, this if statement will, uh, will not get executed and the found value will not be changed so if the value is initially equal to false then we'll have to sh uh, say that the user make the wrong guess and we will reduce our lives by one okay like this and we also have to change it on a con uh, in our dom so we'll use uh, lives count dot inner html to be equal to lives like this if i go to our browser and if i make wrong guess now we reduce our lives by one if i enter again we reduce it by one okay so uh we are so for that we also add uh, wrong guess message on a browser so we'll select our message box and we have in our html and we add a message called wrong guess like this if i make the guess wrong actually it's all characters are completed so i'll just refresh the page now make the guess wrong now we got the message it's a wrong guess okay now uh, we added the functionality to guess the character so let's check the uh, now we'll add a functionality for game over like when live is equal to zero we add a functionality for that we show the message it's a game over and we also disable our button the user not click on the button okay so uh, inside the uh, for it, inside this if statement i'll below this i'll change i'll check if live is equal to zero or not if it's equal to zero what we can do we can show a message on a message box it's a game over okay, like this instead of double quotes i will use a template string okay i already uh, teach about what is template string in a string video you if you did not watch that video you can go and watch it okay and i also show the original world was so i'll add a message the word was and inside the template string we have our original word which is selected word and below this we have to disable our button uh, we see check button and we'll add disable disable equal to true okay so user not able to click it we can you can also uh, use disable on a in box okay so user not able to enter character now if i enter wrong uh, character multiple times like this okay we can show a message it's a game over and the world the word was candle we have to enclose it in a double quote like this okay now if i enter wrong character multiple times with zero we got the original word was the element and now if i click on the check button uh, nothing happened because we disable our check button okay uh, now here we also have to show our um, next word button so uh, here i will just copy this line next word here and inside the if statement of live is equal to zero i will make it to display block if i enter wrong characters multiple times we can show or we can see the next word button okay and now we'll add the functionality for the next word button so we have already uh, selected from the dom now we'll add here let's add about the event listener okay here now here we have next word and i'll add event listener click and have an arrow function callback function and we have to do nothing much we just call init game function like this now if i make all characters long wrong now next word button now if i click on this we got new word and our lives initially become six but we have to make this uh, message to empty and we also make the word to be display none this, this button or to display none so inside the init game init game function we'll select our check not check button we have next word button to style 
to display equal to none and we also message box dot inner html to be display empty like this if i make all characters wrong we have a message game over and we have button now if i click on this we reset our uh, dom okay like we uh, reset our message box and button and we also set our lives to six but here we got also problem because we set our uh, check button to disable here when we got our lives equal to zero okay like here so we also have to disable false when we init our game like this and i'll make it to false if i click on this we got one character so we have to provide one character like this now okay if i click on the next word we got new word okay and we finally we also remove the input when we uh, check the character we'll empty this input box or reset the input box so now here inside our event listener of the check button okay and when we check the characters below this word container i will make the guess input not guess input dot value be emptied like this now if i enter one character press enter or click on the check button the value is gone okay like this okay so now we got the message you own and we click on next word